Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it's just a little DIY video. Now, as you guys may be aware, I live in an apartment. In an apartment, we want our security deposit back, but we still want to look fancy. We still want to look like we live in upscale a little bit. And one way we like to do that is with curtains. But the thing about that is we don't want to use no hammer. We don't want to use no nails. We don't want to risk not getting our security deposit back. So what do we do? We find alternatives. And today Today's alternative is just going to be how I use the command strips by 3M to hang my current curtain rods. Now, I showed you guys this on my Instagram, so if you're following me on Instagram, at LeahLavon89, you kind of saw that I had both curtains up, but for the sake of this video, I actually took down one of them, but I left one of the little hooks up, as you can see in that corner. Um, I'm going to just start backwards and first show you how I take the command strips off, and then I'll walk you through the process and show you how to get them up there and then kind of what that means so just to kind of give you an idea of how easy they are to come off I'm going to show you how I'm going to take that one off and then we're going to restart the process and then I'll show you how I hang these bad boys up first I'm going to kind of walk you through what you're going to need though first you're going to need a regular set of 3M these are the damage free hanging strips now by themselves these can only hold five pounds which a lot of curtain rods and a lot of curtains are a little bit more than five pounds so what you're also gonna need is some command picture hanging strips now when you order them from Amazon for some reason they come separate and this weird thing but if you buy them in stores you know what the 3m command strips these picture hanging strips can actually hold up to 16 pounds or 12 or 16 somewhere it's a bigger weight so you want to use something outside of the normal what comes standard with it or you don't have to it just depends on the weight of your curtains now you can't hang beautiful long you know 20 pound tap tapestries over here but you can hang some kind of moderately sized moderately weighted uh, items with this and you're also going to need your rod now I watched videos on this before I decided to do this and I bought a rod first now the thing about the rod that you're going to need to use is you're going to need to use a rod that is less than an inch when I watched the videos I ran out and ordered a, a rod from Amazon and then a rod came and it sadly would not fit if you can see it's not going into the command hook what you're going to need is a hook that is is smaller so maybe like a three-fourths a 12 16 something like that because you want to want it to go in you're gonna need it to go in so you're gonna have to find a rod that is less than an inch because an inch rod will not fit in there so that's something important that again I wish I had known beforehand but today's video is to help you out so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to show you how easy it is to take down one of these strips so this is what one of the hooks looks like so let's just show you an example of how to get it down. This is the hook after you kind of unlatched it. Then you just want to pull on this. And it goes down for quite a while if you just keep pulling it. It's very stretchy. And then once you pull it off, it just comes off. And again, you don't see anything, no residue, no holes were made. So again, that is why this process is so seamless and so damage free for any apartments. But let's go ahead and now show you how to get them actually up. Now again, like I mentioned, the command strips come with their own adhesive to the back, but it is only good for five pounds. You want to go ahead and combine the picture hanging strips. So the picture hanging strips, which again can hold a lot more weight and a lot more poundage. You want to put that on the back of the hook. So right here on the back of the hook. You want to adhere the picture hanging strip. So put that on. You just want to hold that on there for a little minute. So again, these two, what I like to do is just kind of pull them down, combine the two, and put both Velcro so that they are matching and linking with one another. And then just kind of take off one side of the adhesive. I don't take off the other side until I'm ready to really stick. And then I put it on the back of the hook, like so. And so you have it like that and I like to let it sit for a little bit and while I'm letting it sit I'm going to measure out where I'm actually going to put it on the wall. 
So I know for a lot of people they use fancy tape measurers and things of that nature. But what I did for my other side, so I put the other side up already, is I just kind of used a metric where I kind of went about two inches off from one side and up a little bit. The reason I wanted the hooks higher than the actual window because that elongates the room a little bit. As you know, we live in apartments or if you don't live in an apartment, you may have a smaller bedroom. The one way to make your bedroom feel larger is to have the curtains kind of go up higher. If they hit here, it's not bad, but I wanted mine a little bit longer just to make the room feel a little bit longer as well. So with that, I'm just going to do the same thing I did for the other side. And the measurements are kind of already here for me because I already did this, but just so you guys can see how I'm getting the measurements, I'm going a couple of inches, so about roughly one inch or one and a half inch from the side. And then I just use this card and say, hey, I'm gonna roughly bring it down to right here. So I'm gonna go about right there is where I'm gonna put the bottom of the hook. And the same thing goes for the other side. You just do measurements for how high up you want it. You guys know your ceilings, you know how low you want your curtains. So all you have to do is measure where you wanna put your curtains. Again, you don't have to go as high up. You can go even higher than me. You can go however you want to. So make sure you just measure it out because again, once you put the hooks down, you can do and make a couple of errors, but you kinda of wanna get it right the first time. So once you have where you want it to go measured, you're gonna want it to stick the command hook. So take off one side of it and just stick it. And I put the bottom at where I made my indentation. So that's where the bottom of it's gonna hit. And I just put that on the wall and I hold it on very tightly for maybe about mm, 10 seconds or however long you wanna kinda push it in. And then what I do is I kinda lift the hook up and then I kind of just hold this tightly. So I push it even further. And I hold that in and then I pull, put this back on there after I've pulled it down for about 30 seconds. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side but I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. So you wanna do the same for that side. Again, take off the picture hanging strip on the other side. You're gonna just wanna take that right off. Then once you have that off, you'll see the kind of the sticky side. And again, I'll put the bottom right where I put the indentation at. So I just kind of have, and you see all those pencil marks right here. The great thing about all those pencil marks is that they will erase. So right where you have the pencil indentation at, I'm just gonna take the hook as straight as I can go. I place it on here and then again I'm going to hold it for a little bit of time. Just hold it, hold it, hold it in place. And then of course I'm going to just lift it up a little bit so that I can hold this in place by itself. And again you want to hold it in place for however you feel comfortable. I'd say maybe about mm, 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute just to make sure it's secure onto the wall and then you're gonna wanna replace this back on top of it. So that is on there. And so you have both up. But again, this is what you're gonna have and what it should look like from a distance. It should look fairly even from a distance and that's what it is. Um, again, it should be right on par with the other side as well. You don't want one side to be higher than the other side. Uh, so just make sure it's even too before you kind of let it settle in. That's another tip is, of course you wanna wait some time, but make sure it's straight before you wait some time because the worst thing to do is kind of wait some time and then realize, oh wait, it's uneven. Make sure it's even before you give it some time to settle. So after it's set for a while you take your bar and again I got this from Target. I'll link it down below if you want it but take any bar again has to be a less than one inch bar though and take your curtains that you want to use. Now I'm using white ones paired with silver ones. If you notice from my pillows I have kind of a silvery thing going on. So I got these plain white ones. These don't weigh that much and again my other ones don't weigh it as much either. You want to make sure you're using curtains that are not heavy. Again you can't use your heaviest drapes. This isn't the time for that. It's your time for your kind of lightweight, very lightweight. Um, even though it can have the capacity to hold up to I guess 12 something pounds. You don't want to kind of push the limits on that so again I'm gonna just put my curtains on the bar
what you want to know I go give you all and more Bad man, I feel your flow Why I'm slow? This one no be private show Your friends, they tell you, say I And just like that, now I have two pairs of curtains So, as you can see both curtains are up i did those with command hooks and again it's super simple super easy everything in this home is pretty much hanging by a command strip the paintings on my wall everything is command strips over here now if you like this video you like this diy and you found it helpful make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't find it helpful you don't like something about me anything like that still give it a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure you're following me on instagram at leolavon89 so you can see other diy things I'm doing around the home and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of this good content that I produce for you guys over here and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye